Ready, set, go. All right, welcome back to the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, last we left our nameless hero, um, we got called to a little abandoned town, or seemingly abandoned. Uh, there was a guy who got run over by a train, as it seems, as far as we can tell. It looks as though he got a train car run over him, lost his legs, tried crawling for a bit, and then died. That's that's the hypo hypothesis so far. Then we want we went on a bit of a, a bit of a walk, found this little town, found this weird house that had some sort of weird spell on it that scrambled all the rooms so that you couldn't find this special magic room that turned out to just be a moonshine distillery is i think the term the term for it um yeah that's that's what we're dealing with here that's a lovely view look at that look at that ah oh, it's lovely if this place weren't haunted as shit, I might actually want to stick around. But I feel like it just might be haunted as shit. Um, and if you're confused and asking, not sure if shit is ever haunted, I, I envy you for having never had to deal with a haunted shit. It's uh, not a pleasant experience. Anyway, it's time to move from one spooky house to another, I think. I think is what the game wants me to do, is move from one spooky house to another. So let's just get a frickin' move on and see if we can make our way up to this lovely abode. See what we can find around here. Actually... Uh, is there a trail leading up here? Not really. Let's check out this structure. Whatever the frick this is. I don't know. What are, we, what are we looking at? Some sort of elevator? Some sort of service elevator, I guess? Doesn't seem to be working. And it's very far down. I am... Thank goodness that the game put in an invisible wall so that a silly billy such as myself wouldn't just walk right off the edge of it because that's exactly what would have happened if they hadn't put that invisible wall there. Uh, here we go. This seems to be the correct route. So I'm still... This is one of those things... This, this game is being very unclear about what it's gonna be because on one hand it could very well be like this sort of like mind mind screwy like detective game um you know could just be like a real puzzler which it seems to be to, to a certain extent but because there's also like weird spells and whatnot. Wait a minute, this is the same house. This is the same house. How am I standing in the same house? What the frick just happened? This is not. What? I'm sorry, what? I went into the house over there. That was the house. How is this the same as ha as the, that house? That's totally this. This is the same house. How is this house the same as the house as that was the other house? You need to talk to what? your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. Okay. 
The old Vandegriff house, eh? I'm assuming that's where I'm at at the moment. Is this the old Vandegriff house? Talking about a secret room, you said? Sounds like something I might be interested. Do? Oh. What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. Sounds like a... What do you mean, what did you wake up? That's a very ominous question to just yell at your kid. What? Must be punished. what? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Is we s the game starts out as this we as this like kind of like like weird cerebral like detective mystery thing, and then I get to this house and there's all this weird magic. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. And then, and then they start talking about, and then we walk into a house and it's all like enchanted and whatnot. And there's like some weird cult stuff going on. And now they're talking about a sleeper, something that's been awakened. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like, like a, like a, uh, what's, what's Perhaps the guy's name? Leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. You don't even know. Uh, Alan Wake. This could be some sort of weird, like, Alan Wake situation. But it seems as though... You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. I don't crazy. like... You've all gone crazy. <laughs> maybe they have. Maybe they have all gone crazy. That's maybe... Maybe that's one of the pieces that's going on here. I don't know. I'm super down for this to get all spoopy. I have not done like a long horror game. I don't know if I've ever. Cause like Doki Doki literature doesn't really count. I'm trying to think of another like long horror game. Plague Tale doesn't really count. I guess it kind of counts, but Interesting. Alan, what did His you do? Blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems, would soothe mm. their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere. In the wind. Okay, in the wind, but not necessarily in this house, which means I'm gonna get the frick out of this house. Because I don't like the fact that this... I was in this house. I was just in this house. I was... I remember these rooms. I'm like... I just started streaming and this game is already gaslighting me. And for that, I applaud it. Um... Let's go into the woods. Into the what? The grandmother's house. And home before dark. Okay. Let's see what's up the road here. Let's try and figure out what the frick is going on. Okay, we got a bit of a winding road here going on. Um. This is a very nice, like, they got atmosphere for days. And it's not just like a, like a spooky atmosphere. Like, it's very clearly like a, like a potentially spooky atmosphere. You know? Oh! Look at this! This, that's an art, that's, that's some architecture right there. Okay, is this a ch is a church, I guess? 
some religious imagery going on here. Is this door opening? Nope. Can I open it? No. Okay. That's all right. Good old graveyard. Watch my step around. Oh. Hello. Is that diegetic chanting? It is not. Or at least I don't think it is. It's getting real dark. Hello? I don't like being in here. These are some bad vibes. And it's not just because it's a Catholic church. I mean, it doesn't help the vibes, but it's... This is, uh... Okay, so this, I guess that's a confessional booth? I don't know. I've not been inside very many Catholic churches, if that's what this is. Okay. All right. So nothing particularly of note, apparently. But also, I'm not convinced. I am not convinced for one moment that I won't have business in there at some point. There's going to be something to do. Oh, great. It's all the rich people tombs. Okay. Ooh, this is... These are spooky. These... Especially when one is open? These shouldn't be open. Inspect. Handle. Pull. Don't mind if I do. Crow, crow, crow! Crow? Oh, there's a little crow thing on the ground. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. We're heading on back. Heading on back to the graveyard. Inspect this. Burnt matches. Oil can. Spilled oil. Round stain. Oil lamp. Yeah, that looks like oil lamp. Oh. Focus. Oil lamp? Where was the oil lamp? Whereabouts? Was that in... That looks like that's in the church. By the stairwell. Okay. Alright, we got a few things to grab. By the church then. Alright. Works for me. So at least I know what that is. Yeah. Inspect. Hoop do rotate. Nothing totally out of the ordinary, but I'll take it. Just in case I can use it. Someone broke this lantern in here. Not entirely clear why, but someone done did it. Okay. Sorry to walk on these graves. Doesn't feel great. Um, where was the freaking crow? A raven or whatever it was. There we go. Inspect. Oh, what's in here now? Mortar, trowel, prop and pile of bricks. Work. Dropped. Interrupted. Okay. Something happened around here. What's down around this side? Ooh, what is this? That's some... 
I'm gonna hope that that is red blood, but I'm not entirely convinced. Bahanian Star, Jimmy Corby, Wing of the Crow, Crow's Foot, Broken Cross, Nero Cross, Witch's Foot, Sacrifice to Claypoth? Who, what is that? I don't know, but it sounds like some cult stuff. Okay. Um. Alright. Maybe I should check out some more stuff around here before. I now I'll head back in. Don't want to waste too much time running back and forth. Crow, where the frick were ya? Okay. Oh, you were further down. I was looking at the wrong. The wrong thing. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. All right. I was looking at the wrong. The wrong thing with moss on it. What if it's this one? There it is. Interesting. Look at you. Okay. I'll take you. Head on back down. Head on back down down this way oh it's a circle okay very nice okay let's head on head on in here fix and now we pull the lever and they head bonk they do the thing that ang and Sokka do okay that's a murder this is that's a murder right there. Cause of death, I think it might be stabbing. No blood. Postmortem. Facial cut. Shallow. Minimal bleeding. Blood streaks. Back wound. Single attacker. Multiple attackers. Who knows? Let's check out this knife here. Oh, this is a this is a fancy ass knife. This is a fancy ass knife. It's a fancy knife for ass, is what this is. Take that. That's a very nice, very nice knife, I, if I do say so myself. Okay. I still don't know what this is supposed to do. Okay, the, there's that sigil again. What am I supposed to do with this? I am unsure as to what the what the function of that is exactly. So I'm just going to head on out and make my way merry way back. Because, uh, I don't know how long I want to spend in a space like that. Let's head on back down here. Ooh. Those are some... Oh, hello? What? Hello? You must answer the questions I ask of you. Okay. Does death bring peace or suffering? Oh, well, I thought you were gonna, like, freaking ask me, like, these riddles three or something. Oh, Definitely. Absolutely. Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? No. Most of the time, no. Well, it depends on if I have permission. Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? Yes. That's a false binary. Come from the heart or the mind? 
I guess that one's a little hard to say, but here we are. This is this is a lovely little little place. Nice little lean to and whatnot. Let's read this little letter here. Mm -mm -mm. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When she was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if, he could, if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. What? What? Come again? Even the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop mm. living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. I see. I see. The wish. Looks like there's a second thing to read. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and I know, and know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Gotcha. Very interesting. Seems like this kid's dealing with a little bit more than he deserves. Seems like there's some history to this town that he wasn't aware of and was not properly educated before it was too late what the heck is oh wait no okay i was just turning around just turning myself around okay this is i mean this feels exactly like i'm running through bc or like i mean there's plenty of areas in alberta that feel like this okay so what about all that? How about it? Okay, where did I come from? Where did I go? I came from down there. So I'm gonna go down this way. See what I can find. Head down this path. See what we can find. Ooh. Anything in here? No? Okay. Uh, but what I am actually going to do first is uh, I'm going to end the YouTube video here and uh, take care of this stuff in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching live or on the VOD, uh, thanks so much for being here. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are and you haven't followed, that'd be really cool if you did. Um, if you have followed and you haven't subscribed, that'd be really cool. Supports the channel. You get access to our Discord channel or Discord server. And uh, you get some exclusive emotes if you're into that. Um, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you can like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Head over to Twitch and do stuff there if you want as well. And yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you later.